Hello friends, our today's lab is regarding the dynamic net. We will learn how will how we will how to configure the dynamic net on HPE and H3C switches and routers. Here we have a setup. In this setup, this is our local LAN, which is connected with a CPE, which is customer premises equipment, which can be a router as well. Here we have two different networks. This network is 192.168.10.0 with associated VLAN 10 and this network is 192.168.20.0 with associated VLAN 20. This CPE is connected with a router, ISP router via um, a network 1.1.1.0 zero which is a public network and this isp is further connected with other uh, lands here we have two remote lands here we have 192.168.30.0 with associated vlan 30 and 192.168.40.0 with associated vlan 40 in this um lab we will configure uh, NAT on the CPE which will be useful to NAT uh, one of these two networks to the public network this is basically our public network this uh, this is sorry this is our public network and this is our local network we want one of this network and one of these networks to be netted from uh, uh, this router to the ISP routers to the public network. So guys, we have these two tasks here. First, we will configure net on CPE this network and we will configure ACL to limit the net netted network means we want only this network to be netted via this CPE so guys let's start our configuration first we will configure our LAN network LAN switch in this switch we will configure two VLANs system view VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 interface gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 1 this EC port link type access port access VLAN then interface gigabit 1 slash 0 slash 2 which is PC6 port link type access port access vlan 20 interface gigabit 1 1 slash 0 slash 48 which is this interface port link type trunk port trunk admit vlan 10 and 20 <sighs> configuration of our local lan switch is done now we will configure our cp router system view host name EPE A interface gigabit 0 slash 0 dot 10 this slash 0 is this interface now we will configure our sub interfaces for the respective VLANs VLAN type dot 1Q VID 10 IP address 192.168.10.1 
255.255.255.0 इंटरफेस की का बेड 0 स्लाइस 0 डॉट 20 वीलेंट टाइप डॉट 1 क्यू वीआईडी 20 आईपी एड्रेस 192.168.20.12552525 Interface Gigabit 0 slash 1 which is connected with the ISP router and we will assign an IP address to this interface IP address say 1.1.1.1.255.255.255.0 done okay now we will configure our ISP router Control C System View Host Name ISP Router Interface Gigabit 0 slash 1 which is connected with the CP IP address will be 1.1.2 255.255.255.0 Quit interface gigabit Z. Okay, now let me configure the remote LAN which control C system view host name remote LAN VLAN 30 and VLAN 40. Interface gigabit zero uh, one slash zero slash one port link type access port access VLAN thirty interface gigabit one slash zero slash two port link type access port access VLAN forty interface gigabit one slash zero slash forty eight Port link type trunk port trunk permit VLAN 30 and 40. Save configuration our mode LAN which is done. Interface 0 slash 0 slash 30. This is 0 slash 0 slash 30. 0 slash 0 dot 30 sorry okay vlan type dot 1 q vid 30 ip address 192.168.30.12552550 dot one two five five two five five zero interface gigabit 0 slash 0 dot 40 VLAN type dot one q VID forty IP address one nine two one six eight forty dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero it is done save okay now we will configure NAT on our CPE we are going to configure dynamic NAT here First NAT address group one name NAT address here we will define the range as we want to define only one IP address here so our starting IP address will be 1.1.1 and same will be our end IP address. You can also give the range here as we are going to configure there only one IP address. So we gave the start starting IP address 1.1.1.1 and same as the ending IP addresses. You can see here start IP address. In case of range, you will give the last uh, IP address but as I am going to configure it for a single IP address it is done 
now we will configure ACL access list basic uh, 2001 rule permit source 192168 10.0 and wildcard mask is this okay now I will configure I will configure default route here IP route static and my next hub is this IP address I will go into the interface which is connected with the public network which is 0 slash 1 interface gigabit 0 slash 1 here net net outbound then ACL number 2001 and address group 1 net configuration is done let me configure the IP addresses of our end user PCs sorry configure enable 192.168.10.10 10 .10 two five five two five five two five five dot zero one nine two one six eight ten dot one one nine two one six eight twenty dot ten two five five two five five two five five dot zero one nine two one six eight twenty dot one dot ten two five five two five five two five five dot zero one nine two one six eight thirty dot one done enable one nine two one six eight forty dot ten two five five two five five dot zero one nine two one six eight forty dot one okay let us capture this interface to confirm the netted traffic okay let me ping from this pc to our remote net pcs ping 192.168.30.10 it is not accessible now it is accessible ping 192 one six eight forty dot ten. It is also accessible. Now check our wire shock. You can see here source IP address is the one dot one dot one dot one and destination IP address is one nine two one six eight thirty dot ten. Same. Here you can see this is the source IP address, this is destination IP address, and replies is that 192.168.30.10, and this is the destination IP address.
similarly for the second network 192.168.40.10 here you will be amazed how this network is going to access this network we don't have any kind of routes in this router for this router this network is directly connected network when it sends reply back to the pc5 it sends the basically when the net traffic starts this ip hides behind this ip address which is the ip address of this interface and similarly when it gets the request it sends the reply to this interface which is directly connected to this router now we will try to ping these networks from our pc6 ping 192.168.30.10 you can see that it is not getting the reply from this PC as this network is na not netted by this CP we configured ACL only for this network so as a result this network is not able to access our remote lands via public network let us confirm from Friend, this is how you can configure dynamic net on H3C and HPE devices. If you have any query regarding this lab, you can ask me in comments. Thank you.